I have a lot of trouble distinguishing my art practice from my whole life uh, because uh, now that is my life. I have a lot of trouble distinguishing my art practice from my whole life. Uh, Photography was my entry into my life as an artist, and uh, pinhole photography was when I realized doing it that I was in fact making art. For me, the one of the uh, breakthrough moments was when I I was taking uh, I had a cam pinhole camera and everything was the first cameras were boxes that I bought and you could uh, put film in them. And then I thought, what if I use a, something that's not linear? You know, the focal plane in photography is straight. It's a linear plane. But I'm not a linear person, so I got became very curious about trying to take what I consider to be a panorama. So I, I made a camera out of a cookie tin and uh, I painted the inside black and I made a little shutter on it. And I took 120 film, which is two and a half inches high, and I put it all around the back of the can, thinking that it would stay there and I would have a panorama picture. And lo and behold, the film inside, because it had been so taut, just relaxed. And the picture was wavy. And it was like this. Uh, you know, and I was hand coating the paper, like I said, to feel like a painter. And so the cottages started to, you know, it was, it was not linear, and but it wasn't, it wasn't a panorama. It was like a woo, -woo. and so then I just started taking pictures of everything with this woo, -woo. but and, but it felt to me just like Provincetown because Provincetown, there's nothing linear about this town, and. I felt like I was one with Provincetown. I was painting a lot of houses. I was found myself painting in the style of Chagall. And being a Jewish person whose grandparents were Russian, I felt connected in a whole new way to uh, painting with uh, a connection to a very deep part of my past. And I realized that I was actually living in a shtetl uh, like my grandfather lived. You know, Provincetown is a shtetl. I was photographing all these little houses and now I was just painting these little houses. and. Then uh, the nice thing about painting is I got to do figures. And uh, I, I didn't really know how to paint figures or draw figures. And then I, one day I was looking at Monk's painting and I realized that, you know, I went, I went studying him and I looked back. And of course, all these famous painters had done, you know, the hand and the face, and they were all really uh, talented in this thing. And then all of a sudden he's doing, you know, and I thought, I'm just going to go straight to here, you know. I'm just going to go straight to what I want to do and not feel bad about the fact that I don't know how to draw or I don't know how to paint. And that's a big thing for me to overcome that voice that says, you don't know how to do this, so you better not do it, or you better learn how to do it, uh, to go straight to my voice 
And I think now that I say that, that's like a really powerful thing for me. And now I'm working with clay, and I know that my uh, experience in clay is really limited. I, you know, I don't know how to do things, but I'm asking friends. I started working on this piece, which I love calling it a piece because it's so not how I work. Like, uh, but I just started making these little figures and they were uh, figures of, it started around the Ukraine when all you'd see these photographs of all these Ukrainians leaving their homes uh, with suitcases and backpacks. So I just started making figures with backpacks. You can see the figures are really crude because I'm, I'm just putting a bunch of clay together that looks like a figure. And uh, then I had this piece that was a house that had fallen apart and I put a lot of, I painted it so that it looked like it had burned and I got charcoal and I put it in the house so that this was representative of the village that was destroyed and then all the people are leaving. And then I created this place where I called it the Emigrant's Dream. And I created a, a place where the houses were golden and the people were golden. And uh, my friend Susan Bernstein showed me how to use gold. And I started making this kind of happy world. Here's a tree that was home. I think... I think that inside of me, there's something that just wants to, uh, I, I, I want to express myself. I want to feel myself. And the making art allows me to feel myself and to know myself. I don't know it from anything except a look at it. And I go, wow, that tells me something about my story and I I think about my life in a way like a story I think about everything like a story so I have some stories and I, I and they've been in me for God knows how long and they're just I'm finding ways to uh, say them without words uh, and I think I'm, I'm just curious, but I, what drives me is uh, a desire to, to feel myself.